coming around. <laughs> so last last week I did um, had a go at painting this jug, so shiny objects. And I thought today I'd have a have a go at the glass. So how I just thought I'd sort of share how I go about painting glass with you. Um, I'll carry, I'll use the acrylics. I'll carry on those, but it will be much exactly the same process with oils. Um, and I've set the, set the still life up. Um, I decided to keep it a light blue background just because it's easier to see the glass that way when I paint it. Right, okay, so um, this, this particular bottle, it's got a slightly greenish tinge. So I find that when you're painting glass, it's a mixture of seeing through it, it's transparent, so you're seeing what's beyond and all around. But also certain bits get reflected and also shadows seem to appear as well. So uh, that's what, I'm, and I've got this orange behind it because I've got to give it something interesting um, to be looking through to paint. Right, okay, so what I tend to do is start with just find a, a, a kind of overall sort of greeny gray color. So it, overall, it's just very slightly dark in the background. So I'm mixing a little bit of ultramarine blue with some green that I've got in the palette here, and some white. Um, and I'm going to avoid where the orange is, but the rest can go into this colour. Hi Mary! So around about there, the Work this into the into the board so that um, this will be painting wet paint into wet. So I'll put it too thick so that I can get more paint over the top. So that can be that bit around about the uh, which was it the neck or the spout to get some colour in there. Right, that'll do for that. And then I can see a little bit of the cork through there. Yeah, it's quite dark. That's not quite as dark as that. I can lighten that up a little bit. Um, and then the this bit here. That's quite dark as well, so it's slightly bluey green. And that so it's some ultramarine and the green, quite a bit of red as well. So that's quite quite dark there. And here. Um, and really kind of looking for the light and dark, light and dark really. So we've got some stronger shadows just here. And a little bit there. So while I've got this colour mixed, actually I need to put some orange in there as well. Let's do that next. A little bit that I'm seeing through, mix some of that with a lighter component. Um, and it's actually casting a shadow as well, which I'm going to add a little bit of red to. So just here, there's a little bit of a ready shadow. Um, So most of the, or the orange itself is in shadow, so I'm going to add a bit of blue to that, just to make it, and maybe a little bit of brown as well, just to make a darker orange. Mm. 
Okay, and what, I, what I like about this is these sort of slightly distorted shapes you get when you look through the glass. Yeah. Things don't quite line up. So this is kind of looking a bit sort of blue. So it doesn't have to be perfectly circular. No, no, you can go, <laughs> go what I want. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah. Almost want to exaggerate it. I, I, like the, I like the way you can sort of... The difference between looking through it and, yeah. and the bits you can see just around the corner. Really. So that's a nice thing to try. That's a bit too bright. A little bit red, I think, in that. While that's wet, I can blend that. Sort of. Yeah, that actually goes up to there. And then on this, the side that I can see of the orange starts about there, I think. And that bit there is in shadow. And the top bit I can see a lot more of. Yeah, I was going to say that. Putting orange in without seeing the object itself would be a bit. Weird. Yeah, it wouldn't make yeah, sense. No, you need you kind of need the object too. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. The bit I can see. Like that. And a little bit of highlight. A little bit of white for that. It starts to read as a nice thing. There is actually some shadow under here, so maybe we could do is carrying that shadow on. If we go back to the other brush, find a bit of red in the shadow, a little bit of magenta in there, so that's quite a dark shadow there. And that kind of joins into this, really, a little bit lighter as we come out. Um, Right, so the next bit is oh, it's a little bit grey on here. I'll work that in. So I'm not sure we're there. So it's really just having a having a good look and seeing what you can you can see, where, where you can see light and dark. Um so it's all these colours glass. Yeah, glass. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then really some lighter bits next. Uh, I can see a light bit there. And a little bit of reflection there. That can go a bit brighter actually. Just there. Probably not pure white, but it's a little, definitely a little bit lighter than the other area. And then there's reflection there. On the, on that bit, some reflection there. Just some slightly, sort of kind of an orangey in there. But a few. Let's push that. what else it needs. Maybe just a little bit more bottom. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. So that, that's basically the process that I, I tend to go through. So mid-tone, then darks and lights. Probably wants a bit more background, light and shadow. <laughs> I was just thinking where you would put the, uh, <coughs> what is it sitting on? Um, it's, well really it's sitting on a couple of boards, so what, what it's actually got is, this bit here is more, yeah, it's not really showing the surface is it? So if I lighten what I'm seeing is a little bit of pale blue board here. That's quite light. So in this case, it's really backlit. Mm -hmm. The light's coming from back here. There's probably a little bit from the overhead, but not that much. Um, so some 
Yeah, it needs to be really, it's probably about as pale as this board is anyway. And then it's in, uh, this is all in shadow, so let's make a, a deeper shadow colour there. Just very quickly. Something like that, really. So yeah, you're right. It needs to sort of sit in a in a, in a surface. What you, I mean, what I could do is have a different colour background. If this bit could be a different colour, um, and then it would read that way. And somewhere there'd be an edge where those two boards join. There's actually another orange there, and a shadow here. So hopefully that kind of gets it sitting in space, really. Yeah, but it's quite that's actually quite a nice challenge, actually, to have a, the same colour here as here, and then just try and convey the sense that it's sitting in this in this space, but the, the shadows. And somewhere the, the two boards will join, I think they join about about there somewhere. It's almost like a line where they join, but there's not too much difference in in the shadows really. Mm. Would you put the background of after you've painted the uh, object would you put it on the background first? Probably probably do the background first. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in a way it'd be easier to do the background yeah. first. Um, but I just want to do the glass bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It would, would make sense so, to paint yeah, the background. For me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, generally we're background to foreground. So. Okay, okay. Because what, what you can do then is if you slightly overlap the objects, then when you come to paint the objects, you can then overlap the yeah, background. Yeah. Whereas if you do it the other way around, you might find you've got a bit of a, a, bit of a space and then you've got to fill it all in. Yeah. Yeah. For, for Save Me, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. What sort of colour background would I put onto that, would you suggest? I'd just try and set something up. Just find a bit of colour paper, colour board, just try different things out. And oh, then yeah, paint yeah. it from observation, what, whatever you've got. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm actually going to see what you've got. Yeah, I can see what I've got. <laughs> these blue boards. Oh, right, okay. You can use those. I've got these darker blue, bit of material. That's quite nice. I was going to set this up um, with the still light, but I found when I, this appeared really dark and it's hard to see, so I thought it's probably better for a demo point of view to have all that a little bit lighter. Yeah, that is nice.